shout, they would gladly live without a certain private by the name of Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Lieutenant Fuzz, the name is Van Bellingham, Cartwright Forbes, sent down from Combat Con Psych for the psychological survival tests. All the men ready? Well, sir, they've survived Army food and Sergeant Snorkel. Good, good, good. But uh, we have a few uh, special tests. Now, this chap over here <laughs> is Lester. Lester, say hello to Fuzz. Fuzz, Lester. <laughs> says it's just wonderful being down here at Swampy, and let's get the show on the drill field and march it around. <laughs> yeah, see what kind of dust we can raise. <laughs> and this is Sergeant Tortoise, our test control. The Sergeant Tortoise is the world's champion psychological obstacle course test taker. He's North American champion, South American, European theater, Southeast Asia, Marvin Gardens, Park Place, and Boardwalk champion. These medals are for being well balanced. Now to select the two Camp Swampy soldiers who will compete with one of the ablest men in our test-taking task force, Lieutenant. Y'all send in the volunteer troops and don't let any get away. Private Cosmo, step up. If that's a lie detector, the deal's off. <laughs> Rocky, y'all step up. You put me on, Daddy O. I was psyched by the best. <laughs> Private Zero, y'all step up. <laughs> I never been in a tunnel of love before. Oh. I punched it back. Private Beetle Bailey, y'all step up. I never won anything. I'm a winner. Lester got us one challenger. Sergeant Snorkel, y'all step up. Don't worry, Lieutenant. I've been through bombing, strafing, snipings, and never got nicked once. <laughs> Through butter. I declare, Snorkel and Bailey, we got our team. Good work, Lester. Fuzz, we're in business. Now it's shark sleeve time. For openers, we'll try the ink block test. Snorkel, Bailey, what does this remind you of? A uh, ink blot. <laughs> Triple A1, gentlemen. Really, really fine. Now for some word association. Tell us the first things that pop into your head. Ready? Dog. Uh, tag. Dog. Uh, that girl who works in the PX. She is the ugliest. Please, Bailey. Bailey, uh, Goldbrick. Lieutenant Fuzz. Fuzz? Chicken. That's not an association, Bailey. Bailey, uh, Goldbrick. Stop. Go. Go. No, please. Please? You're welcome. welcome. I'm going back to white mice. <laughs> the obstacle course, gentlemen, is the definitive test. Sergeant Tortoise has already set the world's record against every army installation. Only Swampy remains. Fellas, this is for Cam Swampy. Remember, when you're out there and the going gets rough, give him one for Cam Swampy and one more for... Are you ready? Yes! Get set? Ta-ta, <laughs> troopies! Flipped the course. Would you let Camp Swampy down for a bunch of beautiful girls? Oh, no. For one beautiful girl. Ta-ta, troopies. Think that was...
was an obstacle, Sarge? We should send you to the Olympics for dumbness. <laughs> At last, a liquid obstacle. <laughs> Typical GI surplus. Here, Sarge, you first. <laughs> Bailey, you are true blue. Cheers and ta ta, troopies! That creeping creep beetle for all swampy! <laughs> Speaking, uh, General, that is. What's that? The shipment has arrived. Well, the Pentagon finally came through with those new training weapons. Oh, well, like, uh, not exactly new, General, sir. Slightly used 
weapon. Yes, sir, you might say that. Uh, there's like three cases, slightly used firearms and ammunition. What? Ammunition looks slightly used, too, like. Used ammunition? Well, not in the last hundred years, Daddy-o. And there's 12 cases, silent assault weapons. Uh, four cases of small sidearms for hand-to-hand -hand combat. And three dozen crazy toupees for uh, amphibious operations on a Delaware River. Well, this time the Pentagon has gone too far. They can't pull this track on half trick. Yeah, yeah, I mean trick on half track. Yeah, I mean, I need a man, our very best, uh, a volunteer. <laughs> Sloppy affair. Your left face, Sergeant. Uh, right face. <coughs> in front of you, sir. About you. Uh, you, you. Oh, dear me. Uh, come here, Sergeant. <laughs> the time is at hand for our space project, Vapor Lock. Vapor Lock? The moon shop. Yes. Um, I need a, a, a man, brave, indestructible, a noble volunteer, a valiant troop. I know just the troop, the one in the first row. Hey, Beetle, stop that sinking in a swamp there. What's the use? Company this, not you, Beetle. Mist. Remove that volunteer swamp from the troop, Sergeant. Yay, swoop from the trump. Yay, bring him to me. Beetle, not so high on the hob. Sergeant Snorkel reporting, sir. Sergeant, as you were. Two the gentlemen, the Pentagon has forgotten Camp Swampy, and I mean forgotten. However, I have a plan. If we were to launch a man into space from Camp Swampy, they'll remember us in a hurry. Private Bailey, you may be the first man on the moon. <laughs> Just one thing, sir. I have a date with Bunny, sir. And that's my girl, sir. I will be back in time. From the moon, sir? In worlds of time, Private. Volunteering? Is that all, Billy? That all? Get me out, Beagle. I don't belong in space. I'll hit the tree. Oh, I can't stand to look. I'll get help. <coughs> now don't go away, Sarge. <coughs> all right now, uh, Private Zero. I'm going back to my office and get the Pentagon on the phone. Then you make the countdown. You can count, can't you? <laughs> I uh, think so. Oh, dear. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'd better check. Uh, let's see now. Uh, a six, uh, five. <laughs> a three, uh, two, uh, two uh, and that's one. Hey, zero. Zero. Uh, yep, I get the message. <laughs> uh, hi, Beetle. Uh, you came to watch me launch, Beetle? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did you have to sign a statement of charges for that rocket? And probably for the Sarge, too. Hello? Uh, 
the Pentagon. Uh, this is General Amos, half track at Camp Swampy. Half track at Swampy. <laughs> that, that, that's correct. Uh, we here at Swampy have marshaled our forces to put a man into space. You won't forget us now, not ever now. <laughs> Well, that's right. A man into space. <laughs> Why, right now, he's hurtling through... What's that? Hurtling through what? An apparent misfire. Nothing. Just my office. Listen here, half-wit truck, whatever your name is. You're about to be burnt up that camp swampy like you've never forgotten before. I want a full report on this so I can forget it officially. something I wanted to tell you. Starship Beetle, till you come out of orbit. Because mm -hmm. I personally am going to put you there. Prepare to police the area. But Dodge! Bend the vent, bend! But Dodge! Bend the vent, bend! Oh, Beetle's going away again, I can tell. <laughs> Uh, hello, uh, Pentagon. Uh, this is uh, General Amos Half Track at Camp Swampy. Half Track at Camp Swampy. Uh, tracked it, did you? Mm -hmm. Now you won't forget Camp Swampy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why, just a beetle? A bubble and a special launching pad we call Bunny. <laughs> and uh, how is our newest heavenly body doing, my dear? Heavenly. Just heavenly. <laughs> showing of your platoon and Bailey's resourcefulness in last week's war games, General Half-Track has awarded you both 10-day furloughs. Oh, boy! Oh, no! Hey, Snorkel, what's wrong? I don't want no furlough. Camp Swampy is home sweet home for me. Sergeant, 10 days? Captain, last week I went off the base to get spark plugs for the Jeep. It took me two hours, and I was homesick every second. No thanks. Sergeant, 10 days of vacation. Think of it. Nightclub. Girls. Sleeping till noon. Pretty girls. Freedom. Absolute. You want to give me a vacation? 
send Bailey away for 20 days. That's a vacation. Uh, General said 10 days, and it's going to be 10 days. You have one hour to get off the post. Out! You too, Bailey, out! <laughs> to keep them down in the sticks after the girls see me. It's un-American to make a man go on furlough. Home is where the heart is. A man's barracks is his castle. Twenty minutes. Where is that Rocky? They're just back from KP, Sarge. In here, quick. <laughs> They are running me out, tearing me away from my boys who need me. We need you like a... Rocky, I don't know why they are doing this to me. This is mine, Camp Swampy, where each day I wend my way from Chow Hall to Sick Hall, to the PX, to the goofballs on the rifle range. After giving my all, they are running me out like an old shoe. Uh, look, old shoes, uh, I got a little action going, and... Uh... Rocky, I cannot leave this here place not knowing, not caring. You know how it is when you're in love with a bro... a girl. When you're away, you want to know how she is, how she looks, what she's doing. Uh -huh. And you want me to, uh... Be my contact. I want a full report on everything that goes on at Camp Swampy, day and night, Rocky. I'm dependent on you. You're my lifeline. Don't worry, Sarge. I'll be a rock of Gibraltar, a tower of pizza. Snorkel! Coming, Captain. I don't want to see that face or hear that growl around here for ten days. Yay! <laughs> Swampy Town Towers, make it fast. Rocky, it's me, Sarge. What's doing? Yeah, yeah. Rocky, Sarge. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know it's five in the morning. Okay, tell me, tell me some gripes. How was the call? Yeah. Yeah, the whole platoon, huh? Ah, good. Good, who's in the guardhouse? Yeah, yeah, zero goofing. Oh, good, he's beautiful, beautiful. You rang, sir? Yeah, pick the butts up. You can police the area. Uh, pip and the ball. Ford, hutch. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Company, hold. Right shoulder, arms. You gold brick. Look at those cigarette butts. Field strip them. Field strip them to filters, too. <laughs> Camp Swampy. Come in, Camp Swampy. A uh, Rocky. Yes, Sarge. Uh, we just come from lunch. How was the coffee? My spoon stood straight up in the middle of the cup. Oh, that cookie is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, Sarge, you got to snap out of it and have some fun. Think civilian. Beetle, they're playing our song. Hey, Trooper, hold on. I'll give you five bucks to play me a mess call. Sorry, Pops, but the tune drags me. Besides, my lip is gone. Platoon, oh, what kind of marching you call this? Dress it up. Straight nose back, stomach's in. Raise for the hatch. Deserters. Gentlemen, may I suggest vicious swells to start, then perhaps some asparagus vinaigrette, and then we can follow that with a crepe du volet en parisien. Sounds great. You got any SOS? Monsieur SOS? Yeah, stew on the shingle. You gotta humor him. 
Did you call for some wine, sir? No, we... I called for S.O.S. You gotta humor him. Qu'est-ce que c'est? His whole his? Well, you, you just take some exquisitely square-cut chip beef and set it artistically over some charcoal toast. And then, then ever so gently pour some lumpy, velvet-like cream sauce over it. And there you got it. S.O.S. Now let's go, Cookie Hip. Da ha! Uh, cookie? You gotta humor him. Bertin, des gilets rasés sur terre de l'éperto. Retreat! Et de les pinceaux de la. I would not use that to hang wallpaper. Zero. Psst, psst, zero. The halt, the halt, or I'll give the pass away. It's me, Zero, your old buddy, Sergeant Schnorkel. Come on, Zero, let me sneak in. I got orders to shoot to uh, kill. Zero, have a heart. I can't eat, I can't sleep. I'm gonna die, Zero. I gotta get back in. You wouldn't turn down a dying man's last request, would you? Snorkel? Bailey? Is that you? I thought I told you to... Out! Out! Snorkel, here, disobeying a direct order. Correct, Captain. Beetle. I won't fall for it. It won't work. Beetle. All right, it worked. It worked. Your furlough was canceled as of now. Wowie, yippity doody. Furthermore, Snorkel, you are restricted to this post for 30 days. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You won't, you won't be sorry, sir. And you, Bailey. I sure hope you enjoyed your furlough. Cause you'll be on KP a long time. Maybe forever. 1,304. Ah, it's good to be back in the old routine, where a man knows that if he works hard, that he can count on the army, the good old army. It gives him what's coming to him. 310. Mits pleasures and palaces, wherever I may roam. Be it ever so humble. There's no place why.